Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and welcome to my channel. So in today's video, we will be taking a look at the end transitions pack for Premiere Pro. Now this pack contains more than 2000 seamless transitions which are under different categories. Also these are very easy to use and with the help of their powerful free extension you can import these transitions in just one click. You can preview the transitions without having to import them to your project. And not only this, there are many exclusive features like any transition speed, any resolution, pixel aspect ratio, any frame rate, gradient overlay generator and much more. Overall, it's a very unique pack with tons of cool features which are very helpful. So now let's jump into Premiere Pro and have a look at this pack. Alright, so right now I'm in Premiere Pro and here you can see that I've already installed the extension. So the installation process is very easy and I will put some links in the description from where you can get it. So after installation, you can access the extension by simply going to Windows and under extension, you can enable it. After that, you will get this panel and it's completely dockable. So you can align it anywhere you want in your UI. Also, it's completely responsive. So you can just place it and resize it however you want. Now let's have a look at some of these extension pack. So right away, you can see we have some free packages. So once you install the extension, uh, you will get these 100 plus free transitions so which you can use in your clips directly so it's a good way if you want to try this extension first and after that you can get the full pack so if you come over here you can see we have the full pack so you can just simply click on it and now you can see we have all the different categories that are present in this pack and you can just simply move your mouse to whatever category you want and it will give you a really nice preview in this area with all the audios and since I'm recording, so you might not be able to hear the audio. And in the same way, you can get a really nice preview of all these categories. Now, all these categories have subcategories, so you can access them by simply clicking on them. And it will give you different type of transitions that are present within that category. Again, you can preview these by simply moving your mouse onto them. And if you want to view all the categories at once, then you can just simply click on this icon and it will open up all the subcategories. And now you can just simply simply move and just check out all the transitions but for now let's focus on this one so you can just again just simply open it up and now let's try some of these transitions so over here i have already set up a couple of sequences in different sizes and frame rates so let me show you how this pack works so right now you can see we have these two clips and i want the transition between them so i'm going to simply place my timeline indicator between these clips and after that you can just simply click on the transition that you want to apply and it will give you these options so this is one of my favorite features from this pack and you can get all the different directions from where you want the transition to occur so for now let's go with this down transition again you can just simply click on it here you can see that it has imported our transition again it's very fast so now let's preview it and here you can see that we have our transition just like that so let's check out some of the other features. Now you will notice that it also imports the sound effect with the transition. And if you don't want the sound effect, then you can just simply disable this. So let me just quickly delete this transition. And if you want to disable the sounds, then you can go under the advanced option and you can disable this option. So now if I import the transition, so now let's try this one. And now you can see that it only imports the transition and not the sound effect. Again, it's very easy to use and now let's check out some of the other features. Now this extension also provides all the speed options. So if you want to make your transition slower or faster, you can do that easily. So let me just quickly move it to somewhere over here. And now if I want some other transition, so let's try out maybe this one. Yeah, so let's go with this and I can just simply select this and now you can see that we have this icon so if you click on it you can see that it gives us all the different options for speed and you can again preview it by simply moving your mouse onto that and now you can see that our transition is happening at a very low speed and if you want a fast transition then you can use this option so now let's quickly change the transition speed and after that you can again import it by simply clicking on this icon and now if i play back here you can see that we have our transition and it's much slower so let's try the fast one so i'm going to again delete this and let's try the fast one and now i'm going to import it once again 
so now here you can see that now the transition is much faster so this is how you can easily change the speed of your transitions again if you want to have a custom speed then you can just simply enable this option and you can type whatever speed you want so it's completely optional otherwise you can use these options as well so now let's check out some other features of this pack so over here we have this option called import only so sometimes you don't want the transition to be applied onto your timeline you want to import it into a project so that you you can manually apply it wherever you want so if you want that then you can just simply enable this option and let me just quickly delete these and now you will notice that if i open up any transition and if i enable it now you can see that it has imported the transition in our project but it has not imported it in the timeline and you can just simply manually import it onto your transition and just simply align these markers with your cut point so if you want to do this manually then you can enable this option also you will notice that all the transition frame rates are matching with our sequence frame rate so this is one of the unique features of this extension that it automatically matches the frame rate according to your sequence so now let's check out few other options there is also one more very useful mode in this extension so let me just quickly show you that so if you go under the settings you can see that we have this option called import now you can go under it and from here we have this use alternative method so if you enable this now sometimes what happens is you are working on a project and it already is very heavy and you have imported hundreds of files and you don't want to import more files into the project now if you enable this option then it will directly import the transition into your timeline without having to import it into your project so if you enable this option then it will work much faster now let's check out some other transitions so let's go under the core and here you can see that we have bunch of different options so now let me just quickly show you another example so over here we, you can see that we have this 4k comp and these transitions are compatible up to 8k so if you have a 8k option then you can just simply use this and let me just quickly import this in 4k and i'm going to use this one and let me just quickly disable this import only option and just place our indicator over here and now you can import it just like that so if i play back here you can see that we have our transition and again you can see that its frame rate is matching our sequence frame rate and we have applied the transition on a 4k footage so again it's compatible up to 8k resolution so you can use any resolution under that so now over here we have this vertical sequence and again let me just quickly import some of the other transition and let's do this one and i'm going to use this so you can just simply import it and now you can see that we have applied the transition onto a vertical sequence so in this way all these transitions will adjust according to your sequence size and in the same way you can import and apply all of these now let's check out some of the other cool features of this extension so if you come over here you can see we have this option called motion effects now this also comes with different type of motion presets so you can see that we have some different moves so you can again import them so let me just quickly delete this and again you can just simply click and it's completely up to you you can just zoom in zoom out or maybe zoom and pan so you can just simply click and it will give you this layer and now you can see that our clip is zoomed and it has this movement into the right direction so this is how you can use this feature and there are different kind of motion effects so which you can explore just like these so these are very useful if you want to recreate some camera movements then you can use these motion effects also if you come under automation you can see we have this option called gradient overlay and background generator now this is one of the most unique features that i haven't seen anywhere which is you can create the gradient overlays with just simply one click so let me just quickly show you that now i'm going to quickly import the color mat and i'm going to import it into our timeline and let's apply a gradient effect to it so i'm going to use the four color gradient just simply apply it onto this layer and now you can select your gradient and you can just simply click on these icons and it will create new colors and if you want to swap colors then you can choose this option now you can see that we are already getting some really nice gradients 
and this is how you can create some amazing gradient in just simply one click now it's completely up to you you can choose two colors now you can see that now we are only getting two colors you can select three one whatever you want and it also comes with different type of color palette so you can select the material design and now you can see that we are getting all the colors from the materials design theme look also you can use these as a overlay so let me just quickly select this effect and i can just simply apply it onto any of these layers and after that you can change the blending mode so let's go with screen and then again you can just simply select it and swap between different colors to check out different type of looks or you can try a new color just by simply clicking on this so in this way you can create some really nice gradient overlay and background with the help of this automation tool so this is how you can use this extension and again if you want you can explore all these transitions so i'll put all the links in the description from where you can get this extension also this transition pack not only this enforce has other products as well so if you want to check those out and give it a try then you can get them so all the details will be in the description below so that's it for this video and if you have any queries or questions then you can ask in the comments below so with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one